in this video i will show you a circuit example in which we have to apply source transformation technique and the circuit will contain a dependent source find the current ix from the following circuit using source transformation technique this is our circuit and the current through this 10 ohm resistor is our ix see the circuit contains a current dependent voltage source and we have to apply source transformation technique so what is source transformation technique let's say i have a voltage source vs it is connected in series with a resistor rs between two terminals let's say a and b i can replace this voltage source with series resistor with a current source and a parallel resistor between that two terminals or across that two terminals the resistor will have a value of rs this and this resistor will have same value and the current source will have a value of is we, we will calculate the value of is by using this formula is will be equal to v s divided by rs current source with parallel resistor rs will be connected between our a and b terminal or if i have a current source is in parallel with a resistor rs i can replace that current source with parallel resistor with a voltage source in series with the resistor therefore i will calculate vs using this formula vs will be equal to is into rs this is what our source transformation theorem is and this transformation from voltage source to current source or current source to voltage source will not affect any other parameter external to the a and b terminal okay that means i can convert this voltage source into a current source or a current source into a voltage source now see what is this ix ix is the current that is flowing through this 10 ohm resistor when we have to apply source transformation technique and we are asked to find the current through any specific resistor whatever transformation we apply in this circuit our 10 ohm resistor will remain unaltered or intact that means i will left this 10 ohm resistor untouched while i am applying source transformation technique now see if i keep this 10 ohm resistor intact therefore you will say if i call this is our this as our a terminal and this our b terminal between a and b terminal you will see that we have a voltage source 2ix is connected with a series resistor of 5 ohm if i call this as our rs and the value of this voltage source as vs i can replace the voltage source in series with this rs with a current source in parallel with the resistor of same value therefore our current source is will have this value is will be equal to vs divided by rs here vs equal to 2 i x and what will be the value of rs rs will be 5 ohm therefore i will get i x will have a value of 4 i x now you have to remember that this dependent source should supply the current in this direction therefore the direction of this i s current source will be in downward direction so after replacing the voltage source with series resistor rs with a current source and a parallel resistance of rs i will get a circuit like this see this will be our is and this will be our rs and i have replaced that voltage source and current source between these two terminals a and b terminals now here i have to calculate total current ix it will be convenient for me if i apply nodal analysis in this circuit to calculate our ix therefore let's say i have denoted this node with node 1 and the node voltage of this node is v1 and the ground will act as our reference node and it will have a voltage of v0 equal to 0 therefore 
if I apply KCL at this node, this 24 milliampere current is incoming. The current through this 10 ohm resistor is unknown, so I will assume this this ix as outgoing current and i will assume the current that will be flowing through this 5 ohm resistor as i1 and the direction of 0.4 ix will be in downward direction therefore if i apply kcl at node 1 i will get summation of incoming currents should be summation of outgoing currents Here our only out incoming current is 24 milliampere. So it will. So I will write it in the left side. And this is our outgoing current. This is our outgoing current, and this is our outgoing current. So I will write Ix plus I1 plus 0.4 Ix. Now this is 24 milliampere. Therefore I will write 24 into 10 to the power minus 3. What will be the value of this Ix? Ix is the current through this. 10 ohm resistor V1 minus V0 divided by 10 here V0 equal to 0 so I will write only V1 divided by 10 uh, what is this I1 I1 is the current that is flowing through this 5 ohm resistor I will write V1 minus V0 divided by 5 here V0 equal to 0 so I will write V1 by 5 after that the current of this source is 0 0.4 ix now see i can write ix equal to ix is the current that is flowing through this 10 ohm the voltage difference between this terminal and this terminal as current is flowing from this direct as current is flowing in this direction that means our node one will be at higher potential and our ground will be at lower potential therefore our vh will be equal to v1 and vl will be equal to zero divided by the value of the resistor of that branch 10 ohm from which i can write v1 by 10 let's say this is our equation number one if i put the value of ix i will get v1 by 10 so if i take the lcm of these terms i will get v1 plus 2v1 plus 0.4v1 divided by 10 now if i cross multiply this 10 with this 24 into 10 to the power minus 3 i will get 0 0.24 and here i will get 1 plus 2 3 3.4 v1 so our v1 will be equal to 0 0.24 divided by 3.4 will be equal to 0 0.07058 volt now i have calculated our ix from equation number one ix will be equal to v1 by 10 as i have calculated v1 so from equation 1 i will get ix will be equal to v1 by 10 here v1 is 0 0.07058 and the resistor has a value of 10 so i will get ix will be equal to 7.05 milli ampere that's it thank you